So today we will see another concept in the computer graphics that is a 3D translation. So let's see what exactly the 3D translation is. So in this video, I'm going to cover the concepts like what is a 3D transformation and what are the features of the 3D transformation. And then we will see uh, a different types of the 3D transformations in that uh, one type is a translation. So what exactly the 3D translation is and we will discuss with the help of an example problem. So by the end of this video, you'll get a complete clarity on what exactly the 3D translation is, right? So first of all, let's see what is a 3D transformation. So 2D means that is the object in a plane. A 3D means you are going to see the image completely like the front end, back end, okay, top view, side view, everything. A object that you are able to see here like uh, that is a 3d object okay so if you take any mobile phone uh, if you just take it it's a 3d object so that is an object which you can see all the sides that is a 3d object right so then what about the transformation you know the general meaning of the transformation right a transformation is usually apply on existing objects so this is you have to remember that First, the object has to be created, then only you can apply the transformation on that object. If object is not there, to which thing you are going to apply the transformation? Transformation is trying to change the shape as well as the uh, object, uh, like the colors or the positions or changing everything. Uh, the image is going to be changed. So it's slightly uh, small and it's slightly big and it like some uh, a tilt position like that. Whatever the existing object is there, that object is going to be change its uh, nature, right? So transformation is usually applying on existing object. It is a way of modifying and changing the position of an object in a computer graphics. In a computer graphics, if you take any three ob object, so that object is going existing object. So we can apply transformation techniques on that object so that that object can be modified or it can change the position also. Okay, so it can manipulate the view of a 3D object based on its original position by changing the physical attribute of that object with the help of methods of transformations like translation, rotation, scaling. So whatever the object position is there, so by simply changing the original position points will be there, the physical attributes of that object. If you change the physical attributes of that object, automatically the object uh, is going to be varied. So based on the methods like you can do the translation, you can do the rotation, you can perform the scaling, you can perform the sharing, you can perform the reflection. So these are all the uh, manipulations that you are going to be do on the 3D object. Okay, so if you see the uh, image in the picture, so this is a 3D object. See here, this is a 3D object. You are going to see the front view. This is the top view. This is a side view. This is a back view. So a object that will be present on a 3D plane, that is a 3D object. So 3D objects have, these are the coordinates. Okay, X, Y, Z coordinates. So these are all the different X, Y, Z coordinates. Okay. So now let's have a look on what are the features of the 3D transformation. So a 3D transformations are drawn on the 3D plane. We are going to draw on the 3D plane. And when compared to the 2D transformation, 3D transformations are complex. Obviously, 2D means only you are going to see only the two views. Okay, a 2D object is only XY calculations is sufficient. But here we need to perform XYZ calculations. So when compared to the 2D transformation, obviously the two, 3D transformations are more complex. So 3D transformations are important or helpful in changing or modifying the shape of an object, size of an object, position of an object, still etc. So by applying these techniques, the image object image is going to be changed, right? So now let's see the types of the transformations. The different types of transformations that are used in the computer graphics are translation, scaling, rotation, sharing, reflection. So these type of transformations we can apply on the 2D objects as well as the 3D objects. Okay, so you are going to apply in 2D objects as well as the 3D objects. So in this video, we are going to uh, discuss about the translation on 3D objects. Translation on 3D objects. Now let's see what exactly the translation is. 
a translation is used to change the relative position of a 3d object we are discussing that translation on 3d object so it is going to change the relative position whatever the object suppose the object position is somewhere here okay this position is we are going to change somewhere okay this is an object and we are going to change the position like here or here changing the position of a 3d object with respect to its original position original position means this is the original position with respect to the original position by simply changing its coordinates it is similar to the 2d translation only it is just like a 2d translation only but uh, it is having an extra coordinate so this is the x axis and this is the y axis and here this is the z axis so with the help of the these three coordinates the image position is going to be changed it moves the uh, object on different position on the screen so let's consider a point p let me take a one point p so the point p is the initial coordinates or x0 y0 z0 because this is a 3d uh, so three coordinates will be there x y z plane so this p moves from one position to another position in the 3d plane how it is going to be moved how we are going uh, by what technique we have to apply so that the image is going to be change its position okay so let's take the initial coordinates whatever the initial object position is there just take the initial object position x y z so that is the initial coordinates x naught y naught z naught the new coordinates p dash after translation let's take x1 y1 z1 and the shift of translation vector that is the tx ty tz means how much position it is going to be changed based on x axis and based on y axis and based on z axis that we call it as a shift or translation vector so by adding the translation coordinates to the initial coordinates then we can get the new coordinates see how simple it is take the new coordinates okay add, take the initial coordinates and just add the shifting vector so whatever the translation that is that x axis is going to be changed with uh, how much distance okay it's a shifting vector so translation on x axis is the new coordinates x1 is x0 plus tx y axis is y1 is equal to y0 plus ty and z axis z1 is equal to z0 plus tz so the matrix in 3d image if you consider the 3d image so this is the new coordinates p x comma y comma z is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 so this is a homogeneous coordinates and whereas dx dy dz or nothing but tx ty tz don't get confused both are the same only if you want you can write the tx ty tz that is nothing but it is a distance translation distance you call it as a translation distance so if you see this image here this is before translation means the exact position of an object the 3d object on a plane is this is exact position and this is after translation the image is going to change its position so see here this is x axis and this is y axis and z axis so wherever the object that here the object is like this but when apply the translation technique the object is uh, somewhat changes its position okay and it generates a new coordinates a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash okay uh, g dash o dash okay so these are the initial coordinates so by applying the translation factor to that uh, object uh, that coordinate then you will get a new coordinates so that is a simple so i'll take a problem so the same problem whatever you here in the example so how this image is going to be occurred and how the coordinates are going to be changed that we will see in the example problem okay so here i am going to explain the two examples one is uh, by taking only the three coordinates and uh, uh, applying the technique so next i'll explain uh, by taking all the coordinates how it is going to be changed see here so here i am just taking a single coordinates like translate the given point a only one coordinate i am taking so first see how the one coordinate is going to uh, by applying the translation factor how the uh, new coordinate is appeared so same technique you will apply on the four coordinates translate the given point a 10 comma 10 comma 10 okay this is x not y not z not into the 3d plane with the translation factor tx ty tz find the new coordinates after translation so we know that if you want to find the new coordinates x dash y dash z dash and you have to keep one you will get four here the homogeneous coordinates here 
so apply the matrix method 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 and here 10 20 and 5 these are the translation vectors 0 0 1 1 and what are the x y z x not y not z not 1 so if if you multiply this you will get 20 30 15 1 so these are the new coordinates or the new coordinates p dash that is x dash y dash z dash is equal to 20 30 and 15 so these are the new coordinates so this is only i have found out uh, find out the only one coordinate here now apply the same technique here i am considering the another example so in this example i am going to consider a cube okay whatever the image that you had seen that right so just now you had seen here a image is there so i am just considering this example this is my original image this is an original image the same coordinates i am taking here so the new these are the x not y not z not okay so for o a b c d e f g so these are all o a b c d e f g it's a cube so where the translation vector towards x axis that is tx is equal to 2 and ty is equal to 4 and tz is equal to 6 so these are the translation vectors so now apply on the first coordinate then you will get a o dash a new coordinate for the o okay so x dash is x y z 1 0 0 0 1 so all zeros is a o okay that is x uh, this is a o o into tx okay translation vector 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 and tx ty tz 1 so if you multiply this you will get 2 4 6 1 so you will get the one new coordinate o dash so in the cube you get one new coordinate so like that the all new coordinates you need to be find out so for a dash 0 4 0 is a a 0 4 0 is a, a. see here 0 4 0 is a, a and 1 so apply the translation uh, uh, 3d matrix so this is a a dash new coordinates in the same way b dash c dash multiply just simply multiply okay so like that you will find out the d dash e dash f dash g dash so all the new coordinates you find out then apply these coordinates on the 3d plane then you will get the image so this is the image you'll get okay so this is the a dash a dash is nothing but what 286 these are the new coordinates 286 and b dash is 2810 and o dash is 246 and f dash is 2 4 this also it's 10 and g dash is 6 4 10 and e dash 6 4 6 okay d dash 6 8 10 and c dash 6 8 6 so these are the new coordinates so whenever the new coordinates are there in the 3d plane the object is going to be translate means it change its position if you want to change the position of an a 3d object try to apply the 3d translation technique okay so is it clear so still if you are facing any doubts please let me know thank you